Major event here, ladies and gentlemen. Brainstorm is on the horizon. We're going to try to get it in. Never know if it's going to hit or miss. Adam Weidel and the Ruggio O2B. I don't know exactly the number will be there. Oh, wow, look at this. Good. Good executed pass by Billy Ruggio passing his own backup car. And Eric Wood, uh, Eric Woodward, Woodward. Adam is falling way behind now. Brian Galetta is working on him. Oh, and Dave Fanfelder, he spins out in his newly acquired former Tim Galetta, number 54, in the first race driving him. Tim always had some handling problems on that car as well, so he had to work on the front end quite a lot. It looks like, it seems to me, as if longer cars have a harder time on, um, with the front ends. The front ends always get beat up on longer cars for some reason. The number 24 that uh, Gary Miller had for years and now Adam has. The front end always goes on that as well. Billy Ruggio. Eric, and look at this. Uh, Randy Boban flat. He has moved up into third. With his murder 187. Adam set the slow pace. Chris trying to get around Brian. Brian all group. Matt trying to get by both. That three people in one lap. And he's even there. He's stay late with the dozen. He'll try to force himself in there. Chris now getting underneath Brian, going to try to follow him by. Matt might track Brian too. Look out, and he does. He swoops in front of Brian. Brian just happened to get caught in that low groove and didn't have enough momentum to hold him off. Melissa trying to keep up. She's in her number eight today. She needs to drive the 19. Two first time rookies out on the track as well. Not bad, they're not spinning out. That's a good sign. These are first time Ricky are not gonna compete, but if they're staying on the track and not spinning out, that's a good sign. Ooh, look at this down there. Randy Platt threaded the needle there. Got in between Eric and Bell. Now Matt trying to get underneath Chris. Chris Nice to uh, tell him to get back. Dave, again, he had problems with the number 54 that really acquired former Dick Van. And the front end has busted the, uh, the uh, area where the tie rods and the uh, steering wheel are all the well broke there and uh, he did, I will try, he, there's no time out here he's going to try to get it ready for the second race but we're really worried about rain now rain is coming down not too badly at this point but there is a fear that it could come down worse Ooh, look at this Rubio mistimed it a little bit and now Chris is around him Jumped on it a little too soon and caught, got caught in no man's land. This now moves up and two thirds, Randy and Eric. Bill, Matt, Ryan, and Melissa. Adam falling behind. And Hart needs his refreshed motor or a new motor. He doesn't have a lot of. Out of the motor department there, the O2B is ever installed. It's a good one. Green O2 is fast, but he's spinning out. Oh, 
look at this, it's an illegal move. Ruggio, that would have had to be called back. But the caution was out for, I believe, Melissa Stevens solved in the back straight. But Wesley James, the uh, flag man, the starter, must know if someone jumps the gun that badly, you gotta throw the caution, give him a warning, and they have to get in the sent to the back. Remember, the leader, no one can make a pass until the leader it's that fourth turn now with the illegal pass. Oh, look at this. A little pressure to tire you. There are pylons in turn four, but someone keeps moving. This is the same spot. Now Randy gets up to a good start here. Matt now going to try to trap Chris on Eric, and it looks like he might. Just force his car down there in that low groove. Just trying to push Eric to get him to speed up. And to light Eric get sideways and let both of them by. And Ruggio now stalls in the front stretch and we start finishing. Starting to come down, threatening to postpone. Coming out pretty good. The track was dry, so it did need some. But there's a fine line between just enough rain and not enough. And Chris is ready to go, but Wesley James calls it quits. Valentine. Movie night every night. Every night is movie night. I love the pretty girl. Valentine, come on, girl. Hi. Hi, Sam. Never seen you here before. Well, I was using the train. Hello, the Valentine. This place is beautiful. Hello, the villain down here. Oh. You alright? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was out half the night looking for a dog, Brooks. He seems to have run away. Oh. And on top of that, it's Jake's birthday this week. And Nick and I have this running argument over whether to buy him a skateboard. You know, I, I, I think they're too dangerous. And Nick thinks I'm being overprotective. No. <laughs> Not that it's any of my business.